Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Tashika Bailey and today I'm going to be doing the get to know me tag and yes, I know everyone has one of these videos up on their channel but I decided to create my own personal version because I know that some people like to get all up close and personal with you, they want to get all up in your business and find out some stuff about you that they ain't even supposed to be knowing in the first place but you know why not I'm gonna be doing this today and I also decided to do this video with my natural face no makeup on you know this is how I'm looking my natural hair out and everything because I just wanted to be as real and as authentic as possible in this video and show you guys that you know it's not all about makeup it's not everyday trying to look sneaky sometimes just look how you are meant to be looking you know be natural embrace your own natural beauty not everyday enhance what you already have you're beautiful without it. Look at me. <laughs> Anyways, let's get straight into the video. My middle name is Tamika. You know, Tashika, Tamika, Bailey. And Tamika is actually my mom's first name. Blue. My favorite color is blue. And if you know me, you will know that. You know, everything around me, can you tell? My lights are blue. My pillows are blue. My cushions are blue, my phone case is blue, everything's just blue. I just like blue for some reason. It just it just grew on me. It just looks nice on me to be honest. My first best friend was a girl called Chloe. I met her when I just came to England and I was how old was I? Seven years old. I was in like year four or something. I became really, really close friends and then I moved away from London. I moved back to London, we were still friends, and then eventually we just lost contact with each other. Like, we still have each other on Facebook and that, well, the connection just, you know, people just grow apart. Yeah, that's what happened. Because there was no beef or nothing, but we just don't talk no more, you know? It just faded. 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 I'm five foot one, and uh, I'm very short and petite. I don't like none to be honest. I don't like cats. I don't like dogs. So, yeah. I like rabbits though. Rabbits are cute. I remember this one time when me and my girl decided to be the next dancehall queens in school. I don't know why it was so strange, but it was around that time when, what's that song called? Rocket Dung came out. And we decided to form, get in formation, you know, form a line and start doing Brocket Dan whilst my other friend was videoing us. And I told this girl, do not upload it on Facebook. If you do, do not tag me in the video. Don't tag me in it. Because I had my family on Facebook. So, you know, my content had to be PG. It could not be x rated over 18, 16, nothing. PG. But for some reason, this girl decided to tag me in the video on Facebook and then my dad saw it on the video he called me oh my god come in I was like yes yes dad what is it and he was like to me did I send you to school to be breaking it down why have you got a video of yourself breaking it down on Facebook please explain to me I was so embarrassed Thank you, Nicole, Kimberly, or whoever tagged me that really for tagging me in it. But I was out there like rocking it down, shaking my back, like I got this. But yeah, I shouldn't have been. I got caught. But after that day, I blocked all of them on Facebook. They're blocked. None of them. I ain't got none of them on Facebook. <laughs> they thought I deleted it. But. I've only visited this country that I'm currently living in and Jamaica that I lived in before but that's about it these two countries actually I've been to Wales for NCS for like a week but that wasn't really a holiday but I've visited that country as well I'm currently at university I'm in my first year and I'm at the University of Brighton and I'm doing digital media development if you didn't know no I love me some technology and I love designing and all that good stuff Business or science, in science I've got a D for GCSE, in business I've got an E, like the whole class, except for like three Asian people. <laughs> got like pass, I've got an E, I hated science. 
My favourite drink, like soft drink is 7up, but I don't drink like alcohol. My favourite animal is probably rabbits. I really like them and I think they're cute. I remember when I was like, how old was I? I think I was in year 7 or 8, I really really wanted a rabbit. And my mum was like, can you even look after a rabbit? Do you know anything about a rabbit? And I was like, well obviously I can learn. So I went to the library, I took out a book about rabbits. And I was reading that book thinking, yes mum's going to get me a rabbit if I start learning about rabbits. I'm going to get me a rabbit. So I started reading, reading, reading the book and I finished the book. And I was like, mum I finished the book, I know everything about rabbits now. And she was like, you think I'm gonna get you a rabbit? I ain't getting you no rabbit and I was so upset. I was like, I want a rabbit. But don't worry, when I move out of my parents' house, when I have my own place, I'm gonna get me a rabbit. Because I want rabbit. Thank you. My favourite perfume is probably something Victoria's Secret. I really like, I think my favourite is called Love Spell or Pure Seduction. One of those two is my favourites. It's like a body mist. I like rosy perfumes, not really those professional, sophisticated smelling ones, if that's even a thing, but like rosy flowery perfumes, my favourite. I've been a Justin Bieber fan from day one, from when One Time came out, I've been his fan and I've still got the key perfume that I got for Christmas, I think about three years ago now and I still have it, I haven't used it because I just don't want it to finish. My baby. I don't like coffee. Mm -mm. It doesn't smell nice to me. I've never had it ever in my life though. But it, the smell just puts me off. I was just. Mm -mm. I was thinking during uni, I might need to have a few cups of coffee to keep me up to do it. But I ain't gonna go there. No, I rather not. And I don't like caffeine, so why would I have coffee? I prefer tea. I like herbal teas. I really like peppermint tea, green tea and that sort of stuff. I've never had like, actually that's a lie, I've had the normal tea but I don't like it. Just a preference, I like green tea. Peppermint tea is my favourite though. I don't know, I've never thought about this because I always think that it's a two people decision to be made, you know. So what if I think of a name and he doesn't like it and he's like nah. And I think of a name, you know, he thinks of a name and I'm like, nah. But I don't know, obviously you have to generate ideas and then you agree on one, but I've never thought of, about it. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm a footballer. Eh, I've been a baller from day one. Ask anyone. Ask anyone. I used to score some goals. Your girl's a baller. I know I probably don't look like one, but trust me, the girl can play ball. But I used to play in high school, like throughout the whole of high school I played football. In sixth form I played football but even now I want to join the football team at uni but the way work is looking, I have too much work to be doing to be out enjoying myself playing football so I ain't doing that. But I stopped in college which is sad but you know, it's life. I don't know, I don't have any favorite books. I don't read books for fun or whatever. I just, nah. I just do stuff like design or whatever in my spare time. But when I was little, I used to like the Diary of a Wimpy Kid book. I thought that was a really good book until the film came out and then I stopped reading the book. Because <laughs> in, year, in year seven, we were made to read books. We had to go to the library at the beginning of year seven, pick out a book and like read it for the whole year and then return it at the end of the year. So I picked Diary of a Wimpy, Wimpy Kid and I really, really liked the book. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then the film came out. Then I was like, oh, so I don't need to read the book because of film. So I just watched the film. So, but yeah, apart from that, like now as a woman, I don't read books. I mean, maybe I should, but it's what's happening. Lizzie loves, of course, like I spent money to go see her and I was pretty speechless and acting crazy like a fool when I was there. So of course Lizzie loves. I like Scholar Dondo, Patricia Bright, um who else? Walter Clayton, he does fitness videos. Um oh yeah, Colleen Diaz, she has amazing fashion videos. Um Kennedy Simone. Oh, and the Patrons, you know, those London girls, gotta give it up, these London girls. Um, Petite Sue Divinity, gotta support my Jamaican girls out here doing it, killing the game. Um, I think that's about it, really. Those are the people that I watch regularly. 
My favourite movie, um, something comedy, something funny, probably Friday, next Friday, Friday after next, um, coming to America, <laughs> any one of those like comedy movies. I don't really have like a favourite, favourite, favourite movie, but anything comedy, especially those like ghetto comedy movies, they're the best. I am very much single right about now. I have been for a while and you know ideal first dates. I don't know, I don't really do dates, just kind of spend time together or something. I don't know. I don't have an ideal first date. How many boyfriends have I had? Um Getting a bit personal here, but let me count. <laughs> Actually, I think I've had about three. I don't know why I'm making it seem so difficult, but I just feel like I'm going to start, start thinking about things. But yeah, um, three. I don't know, just playing football with my friends, just running around, chilling, careless, free, out here not paying for no transport, <laughs> none of that nonsense, out here now paying taxes and that. Mm -mm. I enjoyed like coming home after school and just doing whatever I wanted to do. Now I'm going to be doing work, going to be making money or doing uni work or some kind of productive thing, whereas back then, we'd just be having fun. No, I don't. I only speak English. I mean, you can class as a language, but it's not, so just English. I have two brothers, and they're both younger than me, and the oldest child. Hey. <laughs> Give it up for the oldest child, you know what's popping. But um, one of my brothers is 15, and the other one is five months this month. And yeah, my friend actually named him. Hey girl, you do it. His name is Damari and yeah, he's really, really cute. My personal style is something that I've been experimenting with and if you didn't know, I also have a blog where I blog about my personal style. So I'll just put an, put an outfit together and blog about it. But I'll describe my style as creative, inimitable, um, it's outgoing, you know, out of the box. I like you, you wearing unique pieces that you don't normally see every day, like, and different colours as well. So I like velvet, blue, um, what else, like sequins, dresses and stuff that you wouldn't normally see on everyday life. Like if you're going to like a job interview, you wouldn't be wearing velvet boots or something like that. So, yeah, that's what I like when I'm being creative with my style. I don't really have a favourite, favourite restaurant, but yeah, I don't really, I don't have a favourite restaurant. I can't even think of one that I really, really like. I don't watch TV shows, to be honest, but I've seen um, Power on Netflix. I've also seen Luke Cage on Netflix, but I don't watch, oh yeah, How to Get a Murder, but I don't like sit and watch TV shows. They're just so long, like movies just so long. I really prefer music videos than TV shows. I'm a Mac girl, yes. I like me Mac. I have an iPhone, I have a MacBook, um, Air. I have a iPhone, I just answered that question, and it's the 5S. Yes, I know I'm so behind, but when you're out here trying to pay these phone bills, and it's like 50 pounds a month then I'd rather not because I'm getting the same benefits as somebody with an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 7 you know it's just a number um, sometimes I like bite the inside of this bit my gum for some reason I don't know why I just do if you're Jamaican you probably know what I'm talking about my mom does it as well and then I saw her doing it and then I just started doing it for some reason but yeah, that's one of my bad habits. I can't really think of any more. Also, I just wanted to like throw some facts out there about myself because you know, why not? I've never worn a wig before. I know, shocking facts. 
Okay, yeah, I've never worn a wig. I've always had like a sewing. I just hate the way wigs look on some people. But okay, some people they look good, but some people they're just like, please take that thing off your head. What are you wearing, girl? What are you wearing? But I just, mm -mm, and closures as well. Hate the way closures look. They just sit on top of your head, like please. But people still decide to wear them. But even that, I still prefer. I'd rather have a wig than keep doing sewings and leave outs. Because whenever I do a sewing, I do leave out. And I've been straightening my leave out so much that my hair is now straight. Like this leave out section of my hair is just straight. For some reason, you probably can't see it in the video, but. It is, and it's just strange because obviously now my hair texture is all crazy. I really, really love salt. So I put salt on everything, and I overuse it. Like I'll use so much salt on like chicken and chips. I love chicken and chips. <laughs> I use so much salt on it. Obviously, if you grew up in London, you know about the chicken and chips. You know, after school, as soon as school finishes, you go to your local chicken and chips shop. You know, get that chick two wings and chips six things and chips and all that but yeah I, I used to like just overload and okay I still overload on salt I love salt so much oh yeah I didn't even tell you guys my birthday I was born October 7th 1997 and I'm 19 why do I have to think so much about this I'm 19 years old right about now I'm 20 soon I'm 20 soon I've never had a party you know I've never had a party before I don't know I'm just not really into that kind of stuff you know partying celebrating your birthday for some reason but I might have one for my 21st or not I don't really mind but I don't really have that much friends in the first place to be having parties so it's just gonna be a bunch of strangers really but I don't really mind actually I do mind it's just a bunch of strangers I might as well celebrate myself with my real friends but yeah I'm just chatting so much now I don't think I'm a perfectionist I realised that because now obviously doing YouTube and everything, I'd film so much videos and as soon as I see something I don't like, like it doesn't go with my visual image of the video, I just delete it and I won't upload it. I just delete it, which isn't very good. I should just put out videos like that, just put out videos, but obviously if the quality is not up to my standard then I'm not going to put it out and obviously I'm making videos for myself as well as for the people that want to watch my videos but obviously first of all for me because I made the channel for me and it's express itself you know all that good stuff but yeah also I have a consistency problem I have a consistency problem I've never had a job for longer than like six months I've never been consistent in anything. As soon as something gets like tough for me, I just want to leave because I ain't about that life. Like even at uni now, I'm just like, I have to leave. I can't do this. I have to leave. I feel like I'm failing. I want to drop out. There's a deadline coming up next week, and I haven't done the work. I want to drop out. I don't want to do the work. But I do work better under pressure than not under pressure because if something's doing like three days two days i'll get it done like i'll do it straight away but apart from that if it's during like a week i'll just be chilling sitting here enjoying life just out here relaxing for some reason which shouldn't which i shouldn't be doing like making a video right now when i have something during soon but you know it's just how it's you know you put in work for what you really want to do i'm one of those people that if i find a product and i really like that product then that is my product and I will not switch until it gives me a reason to not use the product but my favourite foundation, my first foundation ever is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation I'm in the shade Caramel by the way and I got this when I was in year 10 or year 9 when I used to just wear foundation on my face to go to school and yeah I've been wearing that foundation since then and then I went and picked up the sleep one for some reason and I've been have wearing those two foundations for so long and you know, I have not tr tried a new foundation. I know some people, they'll have foundation, try a new one, have something else, try a new one, have something, try I'm just like, no, if it works for me, then it's working for me. There's no need to switch. Because as soon as you switch, that's when it goes bad, isn't it? Oh yeah, I am so cheap, guys. I am so cheap, you know? I like, I rather buy like Primark shoes and buy Fenty's, I'd rather, 
literally. Obviously, because I'm a student right about now, I can't be spending money crazy like that. So I need to just save up. But obviously, I do like quality items as well. So if I see something that's good quality, I buy it. But very rarely, I prefer my Primark to be honest. Primark is the way. Right now, I'm really loving Whiskey Close on Drake. Oh, this is so. I've never really been into Afrobeats, but now, like being at uni and everything, and there's so many like diversity. Obviously, there's a lot of African people around where I am in Brighton and that. So they're listening to the Afrobeat, they're playing the clubs, and then now I'm kind of like, wait a minute, this actually sounds good. Before I was just like, no, I wouldn't give it a chance, but now and Scholar's always playing it in her videos for the intros, and I'm kind, I'm like, actually, this sounds good. The beat is always the thing that sounds good. Like when the beat is lit, then the whole song is lit. But obviously, I'm just out here. I like to understand what I'm listening to. Like I like songs with meaning, you know. I like to understand what I'm listening to, and obviously with Afrobeats, I can't really. But some of it I can, some of it I can't. But no, I'm thinking this actually lit. Why haven't I listened to this before? I'm really loving Panna. Panna by um, Techno. Whiskey Close on Drake. Um, but actually, I can't. I can't deny me my dancehall music. I love my dancehall music. <sighs> Nobody can stress me, nobody must be caught on me. It's a just on me. But you don't own me. I'm worried, I know what it's going to be. This is why you're bad enough. It seems like the text sent me. Come, me, she have a big waist, man. Everybody can see. Send me a overdrive, overdrive. Can I say, I'll make a clean so worry. Can I say, I'll make a clean so through the window. Yeah, overdrive. Come on, I think, love me style, love me style. Let me spend it all on my mind. Love me style, love me style. Me don't love, so don't love me. Like don't let me. Yeah, if I don't come back with a formula, not everybody's finished in the side like a Jackson Park, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you never know, have been just not my heart, you know. Formula. 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 This is the night for the drum to be not a Baby, be just want to fly yo You can get anything you like As long as you're right then you're right You know your mind is on my line, yo Plus you gon' pop a couple of times So I can talk to the behind, yo Snap around the picture, she pretty funny in the side Why are you looking pretty thick guys? Push it back, so I'm gonna have a chance La 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 but that's my money bag at every time. Make you say this up because of any time. Cause me not know, me not know. Me see something in the door. I'm not feeling it, but I'm in mind. Money pull up, we are the greatest. Tip a look over me, not the bailies. We get rich now. I think I have about eight or nine piercings. I have my belly done. I have three on each earlobe and I have these two up here. I think this is called the cartilage or the, no, yeah, my cartilage, but the double helix, I think it's called the piercing. I'm not really good at those names. I also want to get this piercing here. I think that's called the trailers. I would say my favorite actor is somebody like Will Smith or Ice Cube or somebody. I like comedy um, films, so I like actors that, you know, can play comedy roles, but serious roles as well. I am a huge introvert, like, I am the worst. Like, in public areas, I am so shy and I'm so quiet and I don't know why. Anxiety, probably, I just, I don't know. And I remember this 
Oh yeah, I'm terrible, terrible at public speaking. That is like my weakness. I remember in year 11 when we were doing speaking and listening in English and I was so nervous. I was standing there reading and I fainted. I was getting hot, sweaty and everyone was just sitting there staring at me like, could you not stare at me? But obviously, they had to, so. But I just collapsed, I fainted. And my friends were laughing at me whilst I was fainting, which is very sad. But you know, fun times, fun times. <laughs> but I'm trying to overcome my public speaking thing, public speaking problem. I was gonna say disorder, I'm not gonna say disorder. But yeah, public speaking problem and trying to like be a lot more confident around people and all that. And I'm thinking I need to become a lot more better at speaking in general. That's one of the reasons why I made this channel so I can become a lot more confident by speaking but I'm still not doing that because I'm making like makeup videos and I'm not talking but obviously if I'm sitting in my room, I'm recording a video and I make a lot of mistakes and it really annoys me because when I do make a mistake I have to like delete the whole video and like re-record it which annoys me because it obviously lessens my time waste time and you know I'm just trying to become a lot better and a lot confident at speaking especially in public places because even if I was working with brands and that I'd be all like quiet and stuff which I'm trying to change so by God's grace I shall change that so yeah guys that's all the questions from the tag answered I hope you guys feel like you know me a little bit better now I'm trying to get a little bit more personal on my channel so hopefully I'll have more personal videos coming soon. Um, if you have any other questions that you want me to answer, please leave in the comment section below or you can tweet me, slide in my DM, snap me, you know, anything you want to do and I'll answer the questions for you. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Bye!